Southern Indiana, for instance, where the Silverhawks will take on the Kane County Cougars. As Jeff Flocks is here to tell us right now, strike or no strike, the minor leaguers are still slugging it out. Jeff? Ernie, this is what uh, baseball is all about. Maybe this is what baseball used to be. A bunch of folks playing baseball, not making a whole lot of money. Uh, folks uh, interacting closely with the fans. We're in downtown South Bend, Indiana. It's kind of a small major league ballpark. If you take a look downtown, you can see some of the big buildings in South Bend. And if we, we pull our camera back, we reveal Stanley Kowaleski Field. A lot of our old viewers maybe remember Stanley Kowaleski. He was a great pitcher for the White Sox. And I'm with a man who has devoted his entire life to baseball, both professional and uh, all sorts of baseball. Uh, Coach, uh, what about it, minor league baseball, is it that makes it special? I don't know. You know, I, again, I guess we could be corny. I'm not an author or anything like that, but you've heard people refer to it as a little bit of Americana. It's a kind of romance. Uh, uh, it's it's a tough life. It's not an easy life by any stretch of the imagination. As you as you said before, the guys are not paid extremely well. Uh, they have to scrimp from uh, paycheck to paycheck. But there's just something about minor league baseball that, in my opinion, and and it's only my opinion, I guess, uh, kind of outstrips big league baseball. Any sympathy for folks making millions of dollars on strike? Well, uh, you, you know, you, uh, there are. Uh, uh, several ways to look at things, I guess, and uh, they all feel as if they have uh, a reason for being on strike or uh, the owners have their reasons, the players have their reasons. You know, the people that you really feel the, the worst for, I guess, are the fans and the support people, the people that, that sell the hot dogs and park the cars and, and uh, provide the security and all of that. Those people are, are without jobs right now. They have nothing, whereas uh, I suppose the owners and the players both... Uh, uh, have enough to get by for a while anyway. Coach, I appreciate the perspective. Thank, thank Thanks very much. Thank we want to get to some ball players' perspective. Now, here's a man, I'm told, who makes $950 a month. Have you got any sympathy for people making uh, $5 million a year? Uh, I don't have any sympathy. Um, I think it's a little overrated. The, um, the amount of money shouldn't be a matter uh, when you love the game, to play the game, you know. To me, I can play the game for 950 or 700 if the amount i think uh it shouldn't like a be man a who may used yeah. to make 700 dollars a month it, it shouldn't be a factor um i think if you love the game enough whether you're making three million or 1.5 million you're still um you know doing your job and that's what you should be happy doing you know out on the field as we uh, watch behind you the king county cougars are taking infield practice and uh this is single a baseball yeah and uh, uh what i hear you saying there is that you're happy to play this game and if you were playing in the big leagues which i take it someday you hope to do uh you might not be on strike right now no uh, if i was in the big leagues um i wouldn't be for the strike um to me i i could play and, and be making the minimum i would be happy with the minimum and you know and that's what i would do you know good well, listen, i appreciate it Right. Good luck to you. Hope you never get in a situation where you need to go on strike. Okay. But for now, 950 a month. Yeah. Okay. A lot. Appreciate it. Kane County Cougars tonight and the South Bend Silverhawks, White Sox and Marlins farm teams. We will be here throughout the evening, give you a little feel for what minor league baseball is like. Right now, it's the only game in town. For now, I'm Jeff Flock, CNN, reporting live from Stanley Kowaleski Field in South Bend, Indiana. Thanks very much, Jeff.